What is up guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm Viper and welcome to the channel and welcome to the excellent world of Elite Dangerous Alistair. Now, if you've got Starfield and you think it's not very good because it ain't and it's not Skyrim, <laughs> it's just really a bit Skyrim in space and it ain't, then I highly do recommend that you play yourselves Elite Dangerous and get yourselves Odyssey, why not? It's dead cheap on CD keys, like, go and get it. It's really good, it's well better than Starfield, so, and it's old as well, like, Starfield should have been a hell of a lot better than this. No. But we are here at Raid Gateway. Over in the Dia Grande system. This is one of my home bases. Really good base here if you are starting out in Elite Dangerous. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to do a few med missions for the Federation. So we can get ourselves up a bit on the ranking. So we can get ourselves a Federal ship. So, as you can see, I've got a rank cadet 88. I've only been doing that for about... 10 20 hours maybe i've been on the game for about 80 hours and as you can see we've done a little bit of exploring a little bit of trading a little tiny bit of fighting and quite a bit of uh, collecting the exobiology stuff because uh, that gave me all the beautiful money i've got because uh, i've got like 200 odd million now still left over don't know where exactly it is <laughs> but we've got a bit of cash we're going to get ourselves some missions so i currently just did a uh video started it but when i went on to the third party website in our which is what you would need if you are playing this game you will need to use an hour and commander's toolbox as well commander's toolbox is done by another fellow youtuber uh down to earth astronomer really good uh, so we've got a mission board here as you can see i picked some up some missions but uh i went to an hour and i couldn't get the game back on me uh stream labs so we picked up three missions supply twin on one of personal weapons 18 of personal weapons and six of personal weapons and as you can see over in the top right three accepted missions and i've got 96 available cargo capacity because i've got an olympics on me so we'll just do transport keep it simple we've not been on the game too long we will do a bit of fighting on a few future videos and we'll do some footfall missions and stuff but we're just gonna keep it simple for today so saw something that return sorry nine units of indict so, as it says that, what we need to do is, we need to check. So, we come over to our third party tool here, in our, and we want to go to commodities, and we want to find whatever it is. So, first of all, we're going to put in where we are, which is the Dia Grande system. Get rid of that, G-U-E. So, that's where we are. And, let me just check how I'm spelling it. We are spelling it I N D I T E. To be honest, I can't remember what I was looking for. <laughs> it's not that like I can't remember how to spell it, I can't even remember what I was looking for. So we can buy that, so we will pick that bad boy up. Why not? It's only nine units. Get ourselves a bit of cash. I'm not too sure what it's for, but we are building up all of them at the minute. So let's grab that bad boy. Uh, T, T, landmines, landmines are pretty good, but we are getting up there a bit on that. 14 ceramic, let's grab that. And we are getting some landmines, so we'll grab that. And we'll grab the other five landmines. Nice supply here. Let me just check something here. We want to make sure that we are not getting too many missions. <laughs> so, let's just do some simple maths. 13, 27, 36, 42, 60, 81. So, we need 81. We've got 96. We can get another 15. Let's just grab that. We've got ourselves... A nice bit of missions here, so I'll just have a look, see what else there is. Sometimes you have to get to a hundred percent on here. I'll show you here. Still learning myself here, so when that says cadet rank, well, rank cadet 88 percent. When I get to a hundred percent, there will be a mission in here. Well, not in here, but it'll be on like there, all, and it'll be at the very top, and it'll be in green, telling you what to do. But you have to get your rank up, and obviously. And as you can see, we've done quite a fair bit of missions with him. So then, we've got our missions. 
let's go find it and like i say if you haven't got the third party sites oh wrong one if you haven't got the third party website in Apple, you'll be looking for ages for this i think commander's toolbox does it as well but uh, like i said i don't really use it so personal weapons will grab last let's go and get the indite and the ceramic composites so straight back over to indama indite we can go to lalande five seven six one i'm just thinking is that going to be quite a jaunt 95 light seconds with 6.18 light years yes yeah, so that's only 95 so as it says there st distance i think that's when we drop out of jump it will be 95 light seconds away as where if we was to go to say thompson orbital it'd be quite a trek to get to that one I think that's what that means. Like I say, I've only got 80 hours on the game. I've only been using this website for about 60 of them hours. But no, actual fact, no, I've not. I've only been using it for about 40 because I was like doing like exploration stuff. So we are going to go to Lalande 5761. Pull this up. Lalande 5761. Let's get a course plotted to that bad boy. And as every good pilot does, we'll auto launch. Now, <laughs> getting in most places ain't too bad. <laughs> you don't really need an autopilot. But, but, when it comes to getting into a Coriolis starport, which is what one of these ones are that I'm in now, you see the letterbox there, the opening, the letterbox it's called? I think, well, that's what it was called. I don't know if it's still called that. But I played this a long time ago, before even the Horizons was out. So, getting in that from the outside and finding it on the outside is a little bit tough. If you are trying to find that, as you can see on the bottom left-hand corner there, you've got the little arrows on the little, like, 3D image in the bottom left. That tells you where the letterbox is if you're stuck outside. and you, you can Because you have, obviously, your modules. This is for those of you who have never played before. Obviously, if you've played the game, you know exactly what I'm on about. So, as you see here, your modules. So, as you see, right at the bottom. Oh. Well, it was right at the bottom. There is a... Uh, advanced docking computer. There we go. Look, see. Health, 100%. If we get too close to the sun, I think we're going to 90 degrees in temperature. Well, 90%. <laughs> this is a little flame there. On the little hood in the middle of my screen on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to get away from here so we're no longer mass locked to the station because you can't do a jump while mass locked. Really, we should have just pointed at where we're going to go. And then we'll just jump straight there. Now, as I was saying before, if you play Starfield, you have a loading screen where it goes from the planet to space at least never had a whole loading screen i don't think from going from planet to surface because i like i played it a long time ago on the xbox when it like first came out on the xbox and jesus christ now i play it with a keyboard and mouse and a pad so <laughs> don't know how i played it back then but really if you get to a system like this for people who have never played it you see there in the bottom left hand corner the d scanner charging you scan your system comes up planets 11 and it says i've discovered in the middle there that means i've not been to this system before so really i should stop and stuff but what i forgot to do is i forgot to see the name of the station that we're going to so we're just gonna have to quickly go back out this minute it's called the no guess Air vision so we're going to guess vision and we're going to get ourselves the in night in night whatever it's called so quick look there it is Lock that destination. So there is a way to do it on the uh, thrust. No, I don't do it on that. What you do is, depending on the distance. Now I know this is close, so I'm not going to go more than say. See the little blue bar on the right hand side, where the four near the C, five C. That's five times speed of light, six times speed of light, seven times speed of light, eight six. So you see that blue bar? It's half. That's fifty percent power on my engines. That means that I'm not going to go any faster than seven. If I was to take that up more than three quarters of the way. Oh, that's for fun. Let me show you something else as well. If I was to take that up more than three quarters of the way, you'll get a gravity well. And then you'll get pulled by the planet or the station or whatever. And then you'll get slung shot around it and you have to do the loop of shame. 
So you don't want to do that. So what you're going to do here is your system scan. Is when you get your systems and you get a spectral view analysis. So this is going to be a heads up for all you people who never played it. You're going to see loads of stuff on this video. So you come over here and you adjust this till it goes like that. Zoom in. Scan your systems. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. Now the reason why I'm doing this here, really I shouldn't really be doing it, but I'm doing it just to show you guys. You want to go like a thousand light years away, but you don't really want to do that until you get yourself like a frame shift drive, which is engineered like myself. But that's a fair few hours, and obviously, with me playing it back in the day, I knew roughly that I needed to do that with the engineers. So obviously, I've got a frame shift drive level four on this crate Mark Two, maybe Mark Three. I think I'm pretty certain it's Mark Two. But the Aspect Explorer is like the OG to go exploring in. That's on the current level three engineer at the minute though, because I need some more things. But they're not how to come by material trader so once you've done these as long many as i have you can obviously tell so then one's there planet i've got a planet around here somewhere but it's one of these ones and grab that bad boy next one there these are like these are these like frequencies stations and stuff calls degraded emissions but i wouldn't recommend you do that i recommend you go and scan the nav beacon i'll just pull that to about halfway you can say that's a three quarters away in the blue but if you go over three quarters away you're going to overshoot your target i can see that i'm going to be a station here so i'm going to have to start my approach if it was a planet different thing don't come at a planet straight on like this because obviously you have to like go around get a bit in orbit and then come down you don't like hit it like an asteroid <laughs> not unless you want to like damage a ship you'll get used to that though probably landing on another planet is like one of the a little bit of a tricky thing to get used to everything else is basically just try it and do it i usually i don't know if i do this right probably someone will say something in the comments but this is how i do it this is how it works for me i get all the way down here till i see 50 kilometers that's a million miles three million miles two and a half we're gonna have to get ready to drop out of our phase shift here and there we go 22 take that bad boy and as you can see i'm not close to the station First thing I always do as well is put your engine in reverse, auto dock the computer so we can request docking. That'll be auto granted. And then I just take myself over to my little computer thing here and just see what I do need. So, landmines, one mission, get all that lot in one place. Indite, we'll do the ceramic composites next. Then we'll go and get the personal weapons. Then the landmines and then head our way back. The reason why I do landmines last is because some missions, they have like a threat level of six or seven, so you will get pounced on by people wanting your cargo so we'll put that up last so we don't get ganked in like almost every other system and that but for you guys who are new to elite we'll have this like this for you eh? let's see let's see you watch that like that such a beautiful game always has been like i say i did get it for my vr headset but the internet is just terrible what's it doing is this cancelled I did not do anything. Didn't even do no. <laughs> As you can see, the docking computer takes over, makes it all easy peasy lemon squeezer, but it's not really a bit of a difficult landing this one. The Coriolis Starport is Trust me, you'll you'll be doing a few landings yourself, but this is the easiest way to do it by far. Oh, we refuel, don't really need to, don't go nowhere without a fuel scoop. We'll do starport services and pick ourselves up that stuff. So it will have a little symbol telling me there, see? That little globe, that's telling me that it's required for a mission and it tells me that I need nine, so boom. We'll buy them. Now before you do take off from the station make sure it's in your cargo hold because yesterday i went yesterday i went and picked up 84 landmines i got off the station check the cargo hold and they weren't there and i was like whoa i'm glad to check that and then i went and landed back on the station as soon as i landed on the station my cargo hold was full so as soon as you've done that just check your inventory and as you can see i've got them there in my ship cargo so with that being said 
Before you do go, let's just check the mission board and see if we've got anybody who wants us to take any information. Because you might get a few people who want to take some data. Look there, cover your job. The data will be stored on your computer and will not require any cargo space. And I'm just going to quickly go through them because I'm not going to any of them systems. Now, if I am, I'm not really focusing on that because we're focusing on the missions that we've got at hand. Now, the next one was ceramic composites, wasn't it? Ceramic composites. So, back to an hour. Get rid of that. Um, we only need to put that in because it will be there. And we are now in the landy. It was Lalandry, sorry. Lalandry, and was it... What? Was it not? What? <laughs> Back to Elite Dangerous. See where we are, for Christ's sake. Lalande. 57-61. Lalande. Lalande. Is it 6471? No, it wasn't. Do you know what? I just realised. <laughs> I still had the bleeding search results up. <laughs> My bad there. Brain fat. Or as Leon Lush would say, brain worms. I've still got it bleeding up. It's there. Look. The landing 5761. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So... Don't do what I did there. And make yourself look like a dickhead. <laughs> so I'll search this place and we'll just go to Zvate. Because it's easiest to speed in spe No, you'll, yeah, you'll be, uh, oh, natural facts. Fiden, 21 light seconds. Two days ago. It is two days ago because you can see there 14, 12, 10. Two days ago, 27,000. We're going to go to Frobenius Base in Fiden. 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 For Benius Base. Oh, sorry, did that by mistake then. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Fiden. And that one. Just move my cursor so it goes back on it. Next jump, auto launch. Really, I should have gone down into the starport so that it would do this and then we could have just auto launched. Some ports, it just lets you launch back off the deck, but that might just be the big ships that you see that people own. And we ain't messing about. All we need to do is get off the pad. And point. Our ship in the direction we need to go. Speeding. <laughs> There's quite a bit of that. Now that we are out of range. Well. Frame shift drive charge to fight. And we're going to that Phobobius base. Or Phobobius base, whatever it's being called. Jump over there. Pick ourselves up the ceramic cosm visits. See if they've got themselves any personal weapons or landmines at the same time that we're there. And then uh, high horse silver were away, as your American friends would say. Well, like I was saying before, if you play Starfield, yeah, it's not a bad game, but it ain't really dangerous. And I would say it's a, Elite Eve Online is different than this, so don't get confused between the two. This is, <coughs> I say this is like a. Uh, Smaller case uh, Star Citizen, but you might, you can actually play it. I mean, like there's like stuff to do on it other than the role that the game's going. If you know what I mean, I've never played that, so um, I'm never going to either. But <laughs> it's not my sort of game. It is like Elite Dangerous. Is, don't get me wrong, but the reason why I got this was for the VR headset. But I just it just did not want to play ball. Just get ourselves a little bit of fuel there, just while I'm uh, looking around. So it was only 20 light seconds away. So. 
Do do do. We're gonna find it. There it is. For Benius of base, and it is on a planet. So you get to see how I approach a planet here. Now, as I was saying before about approaching planets, I ain't gonna go. What? It said that it was two point seven light seconds, not two. Oh, it's there. I was looking at the wrong one. It's a good job I uh, opened my eyes then. So as you can see that circle thing, so as you can see it's under 7%. We won't see what side it's on just yet, so we get as in the base, if it's on this side of the planet or the other. We'll soon find out though when we get a little bit closer. Just continue making our merry way over there. It's just so that I can do my approach as soon as I see where we are. So it's on the other side of the planet. So we're going to come in at about halfway here. You'll see me reasoning why in a minute. Share yeah, my speed. Now I'm going to start pulling up because we're going to go a little bit over around the distance of the planet and turn it over <laughs> so we can see where we're bleeding going. Now we're going to go into the atmosphere. So I'm going to stay out of the atmosphere just a little bit here. Go free lock, speed up a bit. Sip it down a little bit. We want to get to about 4 million miles, then I'm going to start hitting the atmosphere. Just because it's on the other side of the planet. And now I'm going to start slowly adjusting my speed a bit. Let's have a check, quick down look at it. So it's in the blue there now. Now I'm going to go to the odds of the base. Come out of free look. And I'm going to head down at it now. Now, I don't know why, but sometimes strafing left and right works, and most time it bleeding don't. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, adjusting that telemetry. Now, you need to be at 2.5 kilometers a second before you hit the yellow line, which is the atmosphere. Well, uh, yeah, that's what it is. So as you can see, we are going to be coming on this hot. I'm going to get to about 300 kilometers before I start thinking of going into the atmosphere. I usually start diving down at about 250 kilometers out. If you're losing speed, just go into that blue bit and you'll pick speed back up. But I don't want that because I need to be at 2.5 kilometers a second before you get the atmosphere. Otherwise, we will not establish a glide. A little bit out. Speed up just a little bit. Bottom left hand corner there, I can see him at 340, 330, 320. Now I'm going to start slowing. And I'm going to start heading down. Now we should just be able to glide from here all the way to the base. Slowly, slowly. Get your monkey. Now I'm going to start heading down. 2.5 kilometer meters a second. That was kilometers a second, or kilometers a second, where you are in the world. So long as you keep it about here. Now, if you are far bit of a distance out, when you get to about seven kilometers on the right hand side on that bar, the orange bar, you'll probably stop gliding then because you're like seven kilometers off the ground. We don't want that, so we're going to pitch it up a little bit. Don't go out the blue. And keep an eye on your height. I am also pressing up on my uh, like thruster, so obviously I'm going up as well. Plenty of distance here, 10 kilometers in the height, 11 height, so uh, 46 out, plenty of time. I'm just going to adjust a bit because my right strafing ain't work. Um, we're not too far out, we could have got a little bit closer there, but as you can see, I'm only 5.5 kilometers high. It's because I actually yard to the bleeding left, you know what I mean? I didn't lower pitched, but you see now there I've got left and right momentum as you can see the ship's moving left and right. It doesn't do that sometimes in space and when I'm gliding. I'm not too sure why it does that. Like I'll show you what I mean. We'll go to the next system and I'll be like, see well I can I can strafe left and right here now but I can't before. That's what I mean, so if you've got good enough engines as me, all you need to do is wait for the sound to stop and then you can just press it again. I don't really need three pips on my engines uh, four pips on my engines. 
we just keep bashing them bad boys as you can see there now on, on the energy bar we see where the 360 is 366 7 six five four three two that one you see there's that bar there that's going up and down that's your thrust so as you can see i took a pip off it doesn't go all the way up to the top but if i put a pip back on my engines it went up to the top see it going down let me adjust my pips on the right hand side of the screen someone's asked me about that they're the pips that's what i mean by the pips system engine weapons now you know <laughs> so as you can see we're enough out here and we're going to automatically put it on no speed contacts request docking it'll be granted and uh, then we can just let it do it itself and because people are watching why not boom and we shall watch our ship land I guess a really, really good game. Really dangerous. Really, really good game. Highly do recommend it. And it's uh, quite good with the Odyssey as well. But I've been doing mostly other stuff at the minute. Like I say, I'm focusing on Federation and that. Get our Federation rank up. And we can get ourselves a Federation ship. Probably, so, check that out. Why not? Here we are now landed. Go back to our ship. Refuel. Let's just tell it to go into the hangar so that it can back up when it auto launches. And then we'll do the... Uh, Base straight away to the commodities, and right there we got it ceramic composites. We need 14. We'll just go down here, check. Yep, nothing here. Quick check of the mission board, see if they've got anything that wants being covered or well, not transported because my cargo falls pretty much full. No, nope, no. Nope. The reason why I did that dead quick is because it would have had that little blue ball you see next to the mission board there. Where my cursor is. Mission board, the ball, the globe. <laughs> the flat earth. <laughs> there, mission board, and you got the globe. Well, it would have that. So, as you see, commodities here. So, I'm at Posix, it's got the globe. That's how I know that I need it. Same with the missions. Mission board. And I went to transport. And as none of them had a blue symbol. I know none of them want me to transport anything to Ray Gateway in the DRRing system. So, auto launch. We'll just check what we need next. It's personal weapons and landmines, isn't it? That's all we need. Let's go and get the personal weapons. So, again, as we did before, in our. We are at Fiden. And um, we want personal up, personal weapons, which is right there. Fide and Shirley Sitter, lovely jabbler. Let's go there. We are in that system. So I'm just going to set a filter here because we'll be here for ages. So Shirley Sitter. Lock destination, let's go. It is a bit of a way away, it's 1000 light seconds, but it won't take us that long. I do have phase shift engines. Oh, shit. Yeah, that didn't deal too well. What happened then? Why wasn't I in this? I, was, I should have been really high up there then. I went to 90 on here. I was actually watching something else. <laughs> but, yeah, don't do that. Shit, let me get my shields back up. Ah, oh, 55%. We did some damage then, boys. Let me check my modules. Nothing's damaged, but we're at 55% health. And the reason why is because, as you see there, the little ball next to the 43 temperature of the percent that's the temperature that black in that circle means it's on the other side of the planet so we'll just frame charge out of this this ain't the same this is it is the same but it's not I'm not jumping to another system let me just set that right 
First thing I tend to do is usually get like a million miles off the surface. Because then you get speed, oh sorry, it's that is, as well as height from the planet. We still see in the red circle there, you still got like locked into the planet. As in gravity well. Well, gravity, that's what it means, gravity well. By the planet, gravity well means certain different things. It's when you're getting fast in by the planet. It's gravity is coming in too hot and stuff, so you'll hit a gravity well. If you're going past the planet, you'll hit gravity well, it'll slow you down. So we'll wait till that goes yellow, that planet, not red. There we go. Now we won't be affected by any gravity, I don't think. Well, we will a little bit, but not majorly. And it is, it's quite a bit out. Don't worry, it's not going to take nine days to get there. <laughs> Do you think I'll be making a video if it took nine days to get there? As you can see, the speed is going down. We're about to hit 300. Three days, sir. Three million miles a second. On our merry way. Now I went to one the other day and it was two hundred and seventy thousand light seconds out. <laughs> I got so I got to seven hundred and seventy four times the speed of light. I was like, yay baby, I got speed on that. <laughs> I think the further out it is, the more speed you pick up, obviously. Because there's nothing to slow down your resistance, so see time's going down there now. Pretty quick. We are about to it one times the speed of light. One times the speed of light. So, the speed of light. So, it's still not letting me strafe. We'll repair our ship at this station. It might be because it just balls up the ship, but. Sensors are back shields. I'm having to adjust differently because it's not letting me strafe left and right. And that's not free luck, because that's free luck. That's not free luck, locked in. So we'll go over here, get ourselves these bad boys, and then, as you can see on the screen there, the little bips, we've got ships in front and behind. I'm gonna come in this way, cause it's easier to go up and down than it is to go left and right on this. Does me always adjusting my pitch. Army angle of attack. I'm gonna start slowing it down a bit. Really, you can press 75% if, if you key bind a key to 75%. But to be honest, the majority of the time, I'm still playing on my controller because, like, obviously, I originally played this game on the controller back in the day. Back even before Horizons. Was it Horizons or was it Frontiers? Can't remember if it was Elite Horizon or Elite Frontier. Slow it down a little bit more, keep it in the blue though. Nice big space, space city here. I'm going it this way so I can go up and down. Just because the strafe ain't working. Typical. Thrusters, it probably is in this game. So strafe. So, we are going to hit the outside edge of the orbit of the planet so we're gonna come down a little bit just so I'm not dead dead slow on the approach because I've not got that much of a gravity well from the planet slowing me down because I'm coming at it at a steeper angle as well if I went between that yellow line and the planet it would have slowed me down a hell of a lot Someone was interdicting someone there then, did you hear that? That noise. Surely city, baby. The entrance is all the way up there, but we'll just get as close to the station as we can so that we can request docking. I'll do. And we'll dock. 
and for my viewers' pleasures. Look how beautiful that is. Hell of a lot better than bleeding uh, Starfield. Even the OG Elite music. I remember playing the original Elite with my dad in the 80s. <laughs> Most people who subscribe to this channel weren't even born then. <laughs> but if you have come along and watched the video and you've been enjoying it, I really do appreciate you sticking around and listening to little old me. But as you can see, Elite Dangerous is a really beautiful game. Highly, highly recommend it. If it didn't show you at any point, go down there, smash that like button, it really does help me out. Probably seven eight viewers this video gets but thanks for coming along and watching it really appreciate it so as you can see there's pausing up because obviously we are inside the station so we're just going to go back inside our ship here then we made it safely here so we are going to go to the hangar which will turn us around because obviously it'll do it when we have to take off again Welcome to Shirley City. Straight away, come on, it is. Personal weapons, we need 45. Oh, a little bit too many. And as before, just check your bleeding inventory. Excuse me, yes, we have it. So let me just check something a minute. So twenty-eight. How many do we need to do? Oh, one one. Not twenty-eight. <laughs> we need nineteen. So landmines. As before, in our and landmines, it is. Search. So, as you can see, there's quite. Oh, should we go there one day ago? Penal corner. They won't be there. I'm going to say they're not going to be there because the 402. <laughs> so they're probably not going to be there. So we might have to just go here. Paisen, Scott Barracks. Because we don't want to be going somewhere that's like there. You know what I mean? So let's just go to hip 13644. Or 13644. 13644. Hip 13, 6, 44. Two jumps out. While we're here, just quick check on the mission board. See if they've got any info that wants to be sent to uh, Ray Gateway. Because that's where we're going back to. No. Nope. Let's go. Easy peasy. When you've got an auto computer that does it for you. <laughs> now, if future videos going forward, we'll do like a few land missions and stuff. That's if people want to see it. If people don't want to see it, then obviously we won't. But I had to put something out there. It's been a bit of a crazy few weeks here. Not been able to do a video on that because of uh, workmen and that and constant noise and there's a man baby who lives in the building so this is the first time i've actually been an opportunity to get a video out and done while uh, he's out so let's uh speed up get ourselves away a bit from the station now it is a bit oh handy that we're going in the so when you do get scanned just stay still because you're probably getting scanned by the security
and if you were uh, like move out of their scan range and stuff so going up down left right whatever and move out of the way that they're looking at you they could attack you they probably do as well i've never actually had that problem because i've just stayed still every time the scan there because when i played it in the past but i have done some fighting in that lot because i had to get weight signatures and uh stuff for your driving stuff you know go to the high resource exception zone kill stuff the way that people used to get the money for the ships which uh, now you don't know now you want to do the uh, science search and stuff scanning biologicals got a fair few planets out there where it says first mapped by me first foot four by vibrate uk does say that on a fair few planets it's even got some on my own system so there it's come up with that again which tells me but it coming up in the middle of the screen that i've not done a system scan on this system so we've got 13 bodies here we will just quickly do this because we are in the bubble it's not really stuff that's going to give me much massive amount of money but i'm not really in it for the money now because we've got the money I'm doing the uh, XOR biology stuff. Scanning the stuff in your Artemis suit, is it? Is it the Ar yeah, the Artemis suit. I'm pretty certain it's the Artemis suit. The science one. Currently, I am in the one that gives you the uh, cutter. Not the Dominator suit, the other one. Dominator is the one with the extra primary gun slot. I can't even remember the name of him. <laughs> it's because I've not done their missions. In like uh, a while, I was doing a bit of the Federation rank and uh, trying to get a video out for you guys. So we'll just quickly scan this system. It's not that bad. Try and not stay on the lines unless you see the arrows come because obviously it slows it down. This is more the pain bit. It's not really a pain, it's just a bit tedious. Three more to go, and it looks like they're all uh, not to a uh, last one. Where are you? So, now that's done that, I'm going to do what I usually do, which is just look here like this. Now, you see uh, something flash on your screen like a blue light, that'll be a planet. And I'll stay near this line so that when I come all the way around, now I can do the other side. Can't see it. There it is. Boom. And we'll phrase shift to the next place that we are going. And then we're most likely probably going to get interdicted on. Because we will have the landmines on board. Also, if you are new to Elite. And you are struggling. I highly do recommend Down to Earth Astronomy's videos. Or, leave me a little comment, I'll tell you. That either, so. Before we do go anywhere. Let me just do a system scan on this. So, every ship has a d-scanner you do your d-scanner which plans your planet by your groups ignore all this lot at the top when you get yours you will have weight scanner data link scanner comp scanner and d-scanner you will definitely have these four at the bottom the data link scanner and the comp scanner you don't really need on they're always on the weight scanner no you have to get a weight scanner you won't have a weight scanner you'll have a data link scanner a comp scanner and a d-scanner the D-scanner is the one that scans the systems and all all ships have it. So don't worry about that. Two means it is on my two fire button. So that's your modules. So you've got guns and they're not working. So you see there, multi-cannon, multi-cannon, cannon, pulse laser, pulse laser. Fire group one. So if I press my right trigger, both of them fire. Yeah, one's a heavy and one's a medium because why not? <laughs> They are good actually, pulse lasers. And then I've got these multi cannons and the cannon, which is on my right, the left trigger, sorry. Wait a second. Now, limpers, collectors, I have two of them on because they use a bleeding lot of them. And then weight scanner you won't have unless you buy a weight scanner. Same with a detailed surface scanner, that's how you scan planets. So, when you've done your D scanner, you can get up this, which lets you like, search the planets, which you do by moving this bar. And then when you get one like that, for example, 
obviously all the ones on the very left hand side are not going to be planets so anything from about see the bar moving at the bottom anything from about there upwards is going to be like an asteroid belt and then to about there it's going to be like planets See planet, 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 planet. That's what they mean there, planet. Gas giants, them. And then these are rocky ones. So you find a gas giant like that. So it's like a, it's like one of these wavelength bar graphs here. You know, see the, the oscillated bar. It's like one of them here. It's going to be a planet. That's going to be a gas giant. And guess what? They usually have moons. So I'll go to your next one, which is going to be about here. And then you'll be able to scan the moons at the same place that you scan the gas giant. So you're not going to go back through once you go, once you found all them planets and you're doing it over and over and over again that's that and then when you want to get close to a planet and scan it you need to have a detailed surface scanner equip it where my weight scanner is there you see on the right so primary b weight scanner that will only let me scan a wake so once you do a time shift drive and a ship warps that will leave a wake you go and scan that that's what a weight scanner is for you will not have that on a ship unless you buy it yourself it might come equipped on some ships but i've never had it on one yet but i've not had all the ships in the game so that's that and then obviously my d scanner is the system scanner which every ship has don't worry about that just hold that in then it'll come up and boom and if it comes up in the middle like the system's been discovered or planet's been discovered then you've not scanned this system so that's why you won't see me do it sometimes because it won't come up in the middle saying it because i've already done it so we are in this system and we need to get rid of the filters is it a settlement i'm going to let me just stop a minute. I don't want to smash into a planet or something. I was running the other day and the, and the ship came out of water right near me. So we are at HIP 13644. So we're going to Herndon Penal Colony. We're going to the Penal Colony to get some landmines. That sounds, that sounds about right, doesn't it? <laughs> so. Do, 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 is it going to be a settlement? Let me just have a look. Yeah, Herndon Penal Colony. You can go through all the things searching, but I don't want to be doing that. If you know what it is. So this is obviously going to be on a planet, so same as last time. We're going to go at a higher angle. Keep an eye on the light speed and that lot. You don't want to go all under 7 seconds. If that timer goes under 7 seconds and you are not at 75% thrust on your ship, on the right-hand side where the light speed is going 6, 7, 8 times the speed of light. If you're not there... And it's over as if it's like up there like that now and it says like five seconds you are going to overshoot the planet so make sure you go to 75 percent if you want to have it key binded it's ideal but because of how my setup is at the minute i can't really i have to look away from my screens and like so look at my keyboard it's like 90 degrees to the right of me so i just usually take it to about 10 seconds and then take it down to halfway doing the loop of the loop it takes longer so I did lose a little bit too late then, but I've slowed right down. I'm just staying the bluish there like that. So the reason why I'm spinning in is because I've not got the right and left yaw control. Might not even be yaw control, but the right and left thrust on. Now we're going to go out wide a bit because of the orbital ring of one of the planets. Where is it? So the gravitational well is there. I oh, know it should be alright. It should be alright. Then blue lines, I think, are the gravitational well of the planet, and then within certain bands is certain speed that you go. Don't quote me on that, that's just me guessing that. But I'm going to say that's that what that, that is. Obviously, the yellow lines are the orbital planes of whatever body it is. So in this case, it's this penal colony on this planet. So this planet's orbital plane around that gas giant, which is that big purple one there <laughs> with the rings. <laughs> Jesus. Primary school science here. Primary school science, boys. <laughs> So it's on the other side of the planet, so we don't want to go too high on the right-hand side. We're going to come in a little bit of an angle. Just because, otherwise, you're going to be circling the planet. And you don't want to be doing that. So we're going to go in here at this angle there. That'll give me enough of a uh, angle for me to get on it. You know? It's because I've not got me right and left bleeding turning. As you can see, 150 km a second, 140 nearly, just under 134 km a second. Orbital flight engaged. Now we're in orbital flight, I'm just going to take that to about 1.2 million miles. There's a flash of light behind me, so that was someone coming out of something. Oh, 
Watch him speed, watch him where I am. Speed up a little bit. I'll be able to blame day otherwise. Get ourselves a little bit closer to the penal colony. I'm going to start about making me approach now, so I'll start coming down a bit. And as you can see, I can't go right and left, so we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Always going to be adjusting. If anyone knows why that does that, please feel free to go down in the comments and let me know. But it won't let me go like right and left angles. I have to like pitch and pull, like in a plane. Get it to about 150 kilometer. Just because we're only 37 kilometers off the surface of the planet. And we can our bit glide from here. Shouldn't be too bad getting there. Stay on target. Stay on target. <laughs> Coming in not too steep from an angle. We're at about 12. Six, just under 6. There we go. Coming in now. Straight boost. Full power. Let's go. When you are coming in like this, always look at your height on the right hand side where it says surf 5.4 5.3 because i was coming up one of these the other day and there was like it just went to like two meters i was like what i'm like 10 kilometers away and i'm in the air what's going on so i did have a little bit of a problem there with that so i'm just going to keep watching my height now i do have my strafe left and right but it's not as much we're under seven and a half kilometers, we'll put it on stop, go to contact, request the dock in, let you boys watch. Oh, wait a minute. I'll actually pause for up a minute. I actually came off my uh autopilot. Is it still on autopilot? It is on autopilot. I was wondering is it still on autopilot? Landing at the Pino Colony. Oh, there's another crate over there in the top right. That's what my ship is. Well, this one anyway. Go to the hangar, local services, and get ourselves on them beautiful landmines. These have got personal weapons as well, Jesus. So we need 19. Boom. <clears throat> I was thinking whether we could sell them. Non lethal weapons of only reactive armor, 205. Do you know what? I want to buy some of that because there's a mission for that the other day that I've seen. And it's, that's cheap. So we'll just quickly check the mission board, see if these want anything going to Ray Gateway. No, they do not. Not a launch, and we don't need to go and plot this chart because this bad boy saved in my bookmarks. 
And back we go. Back to where it all began. On this video. Not in the game. <laughs> Depending on what you have. If you have Odyssey, then obviously you won't start where you start if you don't have Odyssey. So we're off the planet surface. Point 90. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. Wait until we're not mass locked. And then we'll start. Charging our way out of here. Back to our home station. This is actually a good station, Raid Gateway. It's where I used it in the original game, so that's why I'm back here now, obviously. It's inside the bubble. The bubble is the galactic space where the people live. But if you want like good money for searching the stuff and exploration, ranking that, go about a thousand light years out in any direction. And don't stay on the orbital plane. By the orbital plane, I mean this. So if we get out of this frame shift drive, because it won't let me show you the galaxy map of voice, because it comes up that. Oh, wait a minute, we've got a missing critical message. Delivery bonus. Let's go. Probably. Get there in two seconds. I'm not even going to check the mission just yet. We're going to get ourselves into an orbit. That's probably got a guy attacking us. Delivery time bonus. 19 minute. 21 minute. Incoming enemy alert. Going in me alert. So I can kill them if I wanted, but I ain't going to. Get back on here. <laughs> when you're in messaging your messages and stuff like that, make sure you've got your eye on where you're going. If you're not that comfortable doing that, don't mess about with your messages till you get back. If it says urgent message as soon as you come with an mission, it's most likely time gated. Get yourself there as quick as you can. I had one the other day, it was four minutes. I was like, You're taking the piss. And I got there, and it ended as I got there. I, like, my ship was landing on the pad, and it ended. I was like, ah, whatever. And then it came on another one, three minutes, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, mate. You must have the other, have the other frame shift drive, the SCO one. But it's a little bit crazy, that one. I only used it once, and I was like, Jesus Christ, look at my temperature. It's 400 degrees. Or 400%. I see, I overshot that there, because I wasn't paying attention. So I am going to do the loop -a loop shame here. I thought, I, I did think that I slowed down. But I obviously didn't. So this is the loop of shame. It's because I wasn't paying attention to my speed. So let me just make sure my speed is correct. So that guy's always shot as well. Hopefully he's going to have to go around. But I know I'm going to get there pretty quick now. We're going to drop right on it here. Oh, he's interdicting me, are you? So. Let's have some fun with this guy. So I remember playing Heroes of the Pacific, I think it was Heroes of the Pacific, and there was a mission on that where you had to get 300 kills on the Ace difficulty, whilst you had teammates that were shooting down other planes, and there was only like 320 planes on the mission. Interdicted again! Oh, someone's really got a big hard on for me. Come on then, mate. Come on then, mate. Like I was saying... So I was doing Aces of the Pacific on Ace Difficulty, and to get the and to get that one mission to get the achievement for it, you needed to get all the plane kills. You can only allow your teammates to kill twenty planes. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah, so go on, there, mate. Come get me. Not too difficult to get away from these guys, actually. To be honest, mate. As long as you lower down your speed and you're not going too fast. Oh look, two of you. Now, where was we? We're only over 25 light seconds out now. Jesus. Come on then, I know, I know. Hopefully it's on this side of the planet. Because it's going to be a little bit terrible if we have to get in the gravity well and go past it. It's my own fault. If I was paying attention, right, they wouldn't have been able to have interdicted me. And I would have got there before they even had a chance to. It's because I overshot. But you can't win them all. Plus, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's my own fault a little bit. It's totally my own fault. No one else to blame. So, we're coming in here now. We're going to have to just keep my eye on it. Seven to go.
gravity well the planet slow me right down that one right there oh you can't see it I was at 40, I seen it when I pressed it. You could probably do it within a certain distance, but whenever I press it any other time, it don't do it. So, well, Doc, I need to slow down and do that. Oh, Doc is in. And as always, because it's such, such a beautiful sight. the future boys that's what it'll be like in the future all living in big space stations like this maybe not like this one but like the other starport where it spins around because obviously with the momentum it will have a gravitational force on side the uh, station because the arm is spinning maybe that's why this spins but it's quite a big thing to spin all this in it you know what I mean And touchdown. Go to the anger. <clears throat> I'm giving all our beautiful bounties and missions that we've done. Well, not bounties, but missions that we've done. Destiny on the brain. <laughs> So before we do do it, let's just have a quick cheeky look at what our status is. It's 56% of 88. Let's have a look what it's like once we've done this. So, one complete mission. Oh. And I always call reputation. So, my some accent and reputation out. I'll start doing influence, but reputation first. And then... Mission Depot because we've got all these to do as well. So deliver reputation. We even got three hundred seventy thousand for that. But when you got two hundred and twenty nine million and you bought all the stuff for your ship, you don't really need to worry about cash. Eighteen personal weapons and reputation again. Level these up there. Ugh, yawning then, Jesus. And more deliveries. Reputation. The nine composites, was that one? Oh, the nine units of indite. And as we all know, oh, reputation don't really matter. So, liquid oxygen or modified consumer firmware. Let's just go liquid oxygen. Firmware is not that, that hard to get because you have material traders. And with a weight scanner you can just get any anyway. Ceramic composites. Can't stop yawning, Jesus. So, I'm going to go this one here because it's five units of rare grade one firmware. Specialised legacy. No, what's going on here? Hello? <laughs> I've never had this before, what's going on here? What the? Has the game crashed? I've never had this. The game has crashed! <laughs> no way, I do not believe it, boys. Well then, I, I, wow. Let's just go back quickly to the menu. Is it going to take us back to the menu here? It might take us back to the menu here, boys. So it's loading. Well then, guys. I think what we're going to have to do. When in Rome. 
do as the Romans do. So we're going to brute force it, boys. We'll get straight back to it. Just give me a second. So Elite Dangerous, end task. Let me just sort this out here a second, lads. Give me a second. Let me just close that down a minute and then... Oh, I have 103 hours on the game, actually. Let's relaunch it. As you can see, I was trying to work it in VR mode, but I just would not have it. It was would really have it, but it's not very good quality. Windows problem reporting. Very high power usage. As my, I thought my thing came up in the corner there then. I'm having a bit of a problem with Windows, so... We'll go straight back to it, crashing these bounties. Not too sure what has gone on there. That's the very first time that the game's ever crashed. So, yes, that's that's a first. First time for everything, though, eh? <laughs> well, yeah, straight back to it. Because if you don't cash in your bounties, they are time-gated. You have a certain amount of time. So, we'll just get straight back onto it and uh, cash in these bounties. Like, not too sure what's happened there. But while we are logging in, I will just tell you quickly about the uh, how it is when you log in as well. So, for you, those of you who are struggling on the game, always getting killed and that lot, then I highly recommend that when you come on it and you click continue that. So as you can see, my axe is 800. I've only been playing for two weeks. Well, last week and then it reset on Thursday, so I came on it. Open play means the same as solo play, but you will encounter commanders and you will have combat. Solo play is that you will not directly encounter other commanders, but you will still share their galaxy. So when you get ganked or interdicted on, it's usually by the NPC. When you get ganked and interdicted on, it's usually by a player. <laughs> so that's the difference. So at first starting off and you want your money in that lot, go on solo play. Like really, any problems going training, that'll tell you. I only really did the training part at the beginning because obviously I played it ages ago. Just to refresh your course on the controls. Solo play, if you're struggling and you need to collect money, solo play. And then go on open play once you get a little bit more. And the reason why I'm currently on open play is because... I'm trying to get the combat rank up and taking out the NPCs is going to take bleeding forever. So, <laughs> that ain't going to be happening. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm on it. Plus, I've got quite a bit of my ship. My ship is not that good, though. So, like, bear that in mind. And also, when you see the big shiny ships at the end and you've got the money for one, don't just go and buy a big shiny ship at the end. Because, yes, they may be big, good, shiny ships. But as you can see there in my ship, I'm in a medium ship. Uh, so, it uses a medium landing pad. I do have an I did have an anaconda on my other account, but when I logged in onto this game with my account, which is registered in my name on my account on my email, it didn't give me my account. It gave me a new one. Must have been because I bought Odyssey. So, and it's on my Steam and not on. Well, no, because I logged in my same email address. So here we are. We'll just go back to the Starport services because I'm not too sure what happened then. It was probably like, no, 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 no. You've done too much. You can't have it. <laughs> so we'll get straight back on it here. Get these cashed in. We have still got three to cash in. Not too sure what happened there with that one. Eight landmines, confirm that, and reputation. Lovely jubbler. Five more landmines. And, ooh, conductive components. Oh. They've got to be better because they're worth 295,000. That one's only 23,000. So we'll get the conductive components. You do get that stuff from destroying ships as though, as well. You have a chance of dropping all sorts of stuff. And reputation. Boom. Allied with the Diangular Interstellar. So, allied. 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 Allied, we're not doing too bad here, are we lads? So I've only done like three of them mission of like ten missions and as you can see local rep allied in the system. And then you just go back to mission board and do the same again. But when you are doing it, please bear in mind that you do have a cargo hold and all that stuff. And then depending on what ship you use, so like the Type 9 Heavy obviously has more cargo hold. And the more cargo hold you have, the bigger mass you have, the bigger mass you have. The more it requires of your frame shift drive for you to jump. So yes, it might be all nice and well that you've got a ship with loads of stuff, but you need your frame shift drive and then so I got to engineering here so as you can see these are pinned I've got these pinned if you don't have them pinned they don't go up and also so there frame shift drive 
I need can we call this still away? So what I need to do is I need to go to a trader, material trader that is industrial, and convert something over to buy myself chemical distillery to get myself to level four. And while I'm there, I'll also get myself the chemical manipulators at the same time because obviously all the others are easy to get. Now with the me with like phosphorus, manganese, arsenic, enjoy hunting planets for that stuff. But we'll do a video on that next time about going on a planet and how to find yourselves the arsenic and all that lot. You can do it through mining as well, but I'd, I'd like getting I mean, a little buggy and going and stuff, but that's in a different ship. And as you can see, we'll come over to our rep, and we're now on 56 with 92. So on that little bit of a run there, we went up by 4% in that cadet rank. We now, well, on our rank of cadet, and up a little bit on our reputation as well. But with all that being said, I hope you all do have a fantastic day. Thanks for coming along and joining me on this video. Like, it's been a week or two since I've been able to put one out because of obviously stuff going on here, which is absolutely crazy. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm not getting into it here. <laughs> Everyone has troubles. But uh, thanks for coming along, watching the video. Really do appreciate it. If you did like it, please go down there, smash that like button. It really does help me out here. And uh, if you've got any questions about Elite and that, I'll do my best to answer him. Go down there, leave a little comment and all that lot. And uh, with all that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic remainder of your day. And as always, I shall see you all on the battlefield. And eyes up, Guardian. This is Viper, signing out.